to my channel this is billionaire mandy and i am on full adrenaline mode because mode because this is my film day um today's friday december 11th and um today was my day off so i decided to take the day off and you know when your lipstick is starting to clump in the middle it's just so annoying and film so I made my little schedule for the day and you know what type of videos I wanted to do so the videos I did today were a vlog that's coming out uh, probably in the next two months I did my Black Friday haul and I filmed this makeup tutorial here very simple like 10 minutes and this is my last video unless I think about what else I want to do um, also before we get any further, I want to do a live. Do you know how YouTube allows you to go live? I would love to do that. Um, let me know what you guys think. Just so we can chit chat and talk about, you know, what you guys want to see from my channel. What videos you want me to do more of and that type of stuff. Because I really want to, I think I'm changing the dynamics of my channel. And I really want it to be more interactive. And um, as opposed to just the videos that I want to do. I would like to have it more interactive and have that more interactive feel to it so today's video is where have I been now I think my last upload last update was. was about a year ago and um from that time to now a lot happened and um here we go so over the last year one of the reasons why I stopped filming was because I was super busy. I had like three jobs. Um, I was working like a Mexican. And honestly, now looking back, I think I lose. I had lost sight of what was important in life. I was like literally, I was working 17 hour days, six days a week. Sunday would be the only day that I would not work because you guys know I go to church. And um, I wasn't doing anything. I would not go out. I wasn't doing anything anything but working and then at the end of the year I felt like I had lost an entire year I felt like I didn't do anything with my life for that entire year because all I had done was work and I couldn't remember any experience that I've had and so trying to fit YouTube in that schedule I was either too tired sleeping on myself or just not in the mood and as a result of just working like that I became um, a little bit depressed because um, as you guys know my husband was way back in Guyana and um, for those of you who know the immigration process it took a while it took us three years um, you know from the time we got married to the time we were able to be together and so um, I was just going through a period in my life where you know I was just over it and I wanted it to be finished with and I was just ready you know to be reunited with my husband and you know start my life and and then you know I got in a bigger apartment so like I gone through moving from a one bedroom to a three bedroom apartment just so I'd have more space and um, like literally I had YouTube to the back of my mind every step of the way because this is such a great release to me that you guys wouldn't even understand like I decorated our room um, and then I got this little section here we have a really big window right here and I decorated the whole room and I hadn't put anything here and I was like this is where my table and my tripod and my chair is gonna go because I'm going to do YouTube videos and so um back in September I went to Best Buy I got a camera a tripod I got the table well not from Best Buy but I, I got the table and the chair from Ikea and that tripod and that camera was sitting there for like two months before I recorded a video and then I was like what am I waiting for I have everything so I recorded my first video and I had recorded like three or four videos and I had them in um, Final, not Final Cut, I'm using iMovie. And I was, so I had them and edited that, like they were ready to go. There was nothing keeping me back at this stage. This was like a month ago. And then I sat down one night and I was just like, what are you afraid of? And I think because I had gone so, because I was gone for so long, I was thinking, you know, maybe you guys had forgotten about me or um you know it wouldn't work again like I had all these doubts in my mind and one day I woke up and I was like 
I'm just gonna upload the video and whatever happens happens because this is something that I really love doing and um, when 2015 started I know that we're to the end of the year I had decided that I'm not gonna do anything that does not make me happy because of the fact that I felt like I wasted 2014 just working and doing things that didn't make me happy it made other people happy it made other people more wealthy and it made other people more happy so 2015 really my theme for this year was doing things that made me happy and I felt like I accomplished that goal in a lot of in a lot of ways because um YouTubing I really want to honestly like YouTubing and blogging is something that I want to get into more like I want to make it more of my everyday routine because it's something that I really love doing so I was just like I'm just gonna start and wherever it takes me like I'm gonna go so um my husband came in August um finally came to the states and so like we were starting you know it was the process of us reacquainting ourselves and getting to know each other again and um you know and just building a basis for us to operate from it was like we were starting all over again so that process took time um and then so now we're at a stage where we function you know well because we've adjusted and acclimated to our environment in some sense of the word um and so now i'm in a better place and also where i was before i would have to set up in my bathroom and like the whole setup and everything took so long it's like you have to be in the mood to do it so now like literally if i want to film i just sit down at my chair and you could imagine it's so easy and I still make an issue out of it every single time. Well, not every time. Now I plan it out so it's not as tedious as before. And like my own, my issue is I always don't have a hairstyle to do a video. Like, no lie. I had a hairstyle, I had crochet in. And first of all, them things were so heavy. I had the 22 inch in and it was so, so heavy. The pre singlenese twists, the big ones. And I took them out last night. Now, my film day was Friday, which is today. I sat down and took it out last night. And then I was like, oh, shit. I don't have anything to... F like, I don't know why I always subconsciously do that. Like, I don't know. It's just the weirdest thing ever. So, I always wanted to rock a short wig. And today was the perfect day for me to try. And I guess it just all worked out in my favor. So, and it doesn't look that bad. I mean, I'm cute any which way you put it. Like this just shows I could put whatever I want on and I could just look cute in it honey I could just rock it whenever I feel like it yes god but um where else did I go so this year I pretty much spent most of my year vacationing we went to San Antonio I went to Guyana twice we went to Florida um, we went to Virginia like I literally spent my whole year just vacationing and just going different places and seeing different things and I feel so much more happy and so much more closer to my family you know like I've developed so many relationships and I've concreted and cemented other relationships along the way that my advice for you you know we can come to America a lot of us from different islands come to America and we forget family which is the most single-handedly the most important thing in life your family we forget family we forget values and we're just like literally just working and it's like a system in which we're grafted into and and kind of like we can't do anything about it because we have to work to pay our bills but somewhere down the line you have to stop yourself assess what's going on assess the situation and find a better way and half of the times you're working in a job which you really don't like you really don't want to be there but you're still going and you're not doing anything towards your future you're not doing anything towards your goals you're not doing anything towards your dreams some of us have stopped actually dreaming which is the most ridiculous thing ever because i've been there it's like you feel like your dreams are so far out of touch that you just take whatever's given to you and then you're just satisfied with whatever so that's my little advice for you i know it sounds like i'm very hyper about it but i'm really really into right now living your dream continually dreaming and doing things towards seeing the fruition of your dreams come alive um one of the things that i'm doing i would say uh i really assess i was a teacher for the last 10 years nine nine years and it was all i knew 
in the Caribbean, you know, your path, paths are kind of narrowed down. So it was all I knew. My husband was a teacher for 13 years and an um, assistant principal. And it was all he knew. But we came here and we were, we figured out that it's not, we don't like, like, while we were, while I was doing it, I can tell you, I had a love for teaching. But coming to America and teaching here, I realized that the system really is not about the kids. It's all about the stats and the parents being happy and just test scores. And if I continue to work in an environment like that, it's unhealthy for me because I'm really for having each child learn and grow and develop and not just make sure that they pass a test score. So that environment was not healthy because it began to frustrate me. And there was a lot of back and forth with administration. And I was just like, you know what? Let me pick another path. And I started. And, and then after a while, like after a length of time of doing something, you realize you kind of have to step back, reevaluate, and be like, is this what I want to do for the rest of my life? And I felt like I hadn't known anything else. And so I just wanted to do something different. And I had a few business plans in my head. I went them over with my sister and we agreed to be business partners and so like literally as I'm working in a job that I don't necessarily like but I do because you know it pays the bills I am working towards my dreams and my goals and the things that will make me happy in the long run um, I'm also educating myself towards getting higher so sometimes you just can't blame the system you have to see you know what you can do to make the system that we live in better dancing career had taken off um, which was, I got the opportunity to dance, to open up the stage for CeCe Winan, um, Ty Trebek, like some of the biggest names in gospel. Um, what else, what else, what else? A lot happened. I was just, but you know what? I really wish that I had taken the time out to brought you guys along on the journey. And, um, so I could, so I could have had a video diary or a video documentary, documentary of what, you know it transpired over the year but in a little synopsis I don't know how long this video is this is where I was for the last year and why I was gone I am really really sorry um trust me everyone has that phase in their lives where they have to stop and reevaluate and kind of go again it's very important because sometimes you can be going and going and going and going and not even realize who am I what do I want to do? What are my goals and my visions? What are my dreams? So, um, sometimes it's really good to have those times in life. And I really hope that you have your come to Jesus moment. And you know what your dreams and your hopes are. And you're not just working a dead end job and making somebody else rich for their goals and their dreams. Um, but thank you so much for watching this video. And I will see you guys in another video. Bye.